uh, thank you, Jay, for uh, having us back again. The last time we met was for Amar Raja in Divitipalli, where we broke ground, and this time uh, here we are uh, in Hyderabad doing this really cool thing. Thank you very much for uh, making us, uh, you know, feel special, making us feel invited. To the entire family of uh, Amar Raja, um, Harsha, Vikram, Rama Devi Garu, and uh, uh, and uh, and everybody here, um, and also of course Vijay, thank you. Um, our honourable MP, Dr. Ranjit Reddy, our uh, honourable MLC and doc former minister, uh, Dr. Mahinder Reddy, Mr. Sinha, thank you, sir, uh, for joining us. Um, and uh, my principal secretary, Jayesh Ranjan, our special secretary, Vishnu Vardhan Reddy, our director, of electronics, Sujay Karampuri. I congratulate all of you. I congratulate one and, all, uh, one and all, and I also see a couple of my friends here, Vishnu, Rajiv, um, everybody else who's part of the Amir Raja family. I welcome all of you. You know, I love the theme. I love the way Jay explained. Uh, you know, the evolution of uh, the logo, the evolution, and the branding, and the thought behind it. Life's all about evolution, of course, and uh, you know, I think uh, each of us strive, each of us endeavor in our daily lives to become better human beings every single day, better uh, better version of ourselves every single day. In constant uh, pursuit of excellence, you know, as our Honorable Chief Minister keeps telling us, life's all about pursuit of excellence, life's all about pursuit of, uh, you know, uh, better version of yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm delighted that uh, Amar Raja, which was founded 37 years ago by Jay and uh, his entire family, his father, the founder chairman, um, I'm delighted that, you know, Mr. Ramchandra Galla, yourself, you know, have reached a stage in life today where, uh, you know, you can s probably s sit back a bit, relax and have the young guns, uh, you know, take this brilliant, brilliant initiative forward. Thank you, Jay, for, uh, you, know, uh, you know, making this huge investment. It's a huge, uh, you know, it, it's a huge compliment, actually, in a way, if you ask me, because you've reposed faith in this state, in this city, in the government, in the people, more importantly. And I know that uh, Amar Raja has always been uh, in consonance with the local ecosystem. I think that's what makes you special, your, your family, your Amar Raja team, so very special. So I'd like to compliment you, congratulate you on setting up the Giga Corridor in my state, in Telangana. The Research and Innovation Center, which is part of the Giga Corridor, is a key milestone in defining India's transition, sir, as you said. From sustainable to, towards sustainable energy and mobility solutions. I also have to share with you, I was here in the GMR Aero City. I don't see many from uh, the Aero City family here. I was here two days ago, exactly, 48 hours ago, launching a very unique initiative, a center of excellence in sustainable cooling solutions. A lot of us don't realize that the air conditioning that is powering us today here actually generates more heat than it uh, produces cooling. So now the challenge is, of course, to find a solution, create a solution on how to actually make even these refrigeration solutions sustainable. So as we start thinking, as we start building towards many such initiatives, in fact, the, the Center of Excellence, which has been launched in Aero City the other day, is the first of its kind in India. And I'm sure this is one of the first also in India. So we're very proud that this is being hosted here in Aero City, in Telangana, and hope that Amar Raja, like Mr. Sinha said, will act as a catalyst, not only in your future growth story, but also the story of sustainable mobility in India at large as well. I would also like to recognize the Consul General of Australia, uh, Hilary Mackey. Uh, Hilary is here somewhere, I think. She left. Sorry. We met her for the first time, and I was, I was requesting her that she should start direct flights and uh, uh, you know make sure that Hyderabad is well connected to Sydney and Australia. I also told her if you wouldn't do it, then we'll surely beat them in cricket every single match. we meet them the next time. The lithium-ion gigafactories is still an emerging landscape in India, and focus, and, re and focus on research and innovation is essential for success of this emerging technology. As India moves towards accelerating EV adoption, developing a domestic advanced cell supply chain ecosystem is crucial for achieving the country's transition to electric mobility. I believe that uh, sustainable mobility and shared mobility is the future of India and therefore Amar Raja I believe has made the right choice in ensuring that uh, you are investing in a future ready uh, ecosystem. 
Um, Amar Raja is paving the way and will play a pivotal role in fostering research and innovation in the sector. This vital center shall play a key role, I hope, in providing access to testing and prototyping facilities to all the stakeholders in the ecosystem and supply chain. Telangana is leading the way in driving India's innovation growth story. The state's network of institutions, innovation institutions, comprising of T-Works, which is India's largest prototyping facility, T-Hub, which is the world's largest tech incubator, RICH, the research and innovation circle of Hyderabad, which tries to bring about a collaboration between the academia and the research institutions and the industry, TASK, which is Telangana Academy for Skills and Knowledge, which is ensuring that skilled workforce is readily available for anybody who wants to industrialize in Telangana. TSIC, the Telangana State Innovation Cell, which focuses on capturing young talent at a very early stage and most importantly, VHUB, which nurtures women entrepreneurs. All of these institutions together, which have been propelled and enabled by the government, are leading the innovation ecosystem in Telangana and Hyderabad. Today, Hyderabad has emerged as a preferred destination for setting up research and development, design and engineering facilities. I believe this center that is being done today evolved by Amaraja, uh, Amaraja's Research and Innovation Center would further enrich our dynamic innovation ecosystem. India's demand for ACC batteries is projected to be 260 gigawatt hours by 2030. 60 percent of this domestic demand is expected to be manufactured in India by 2030. Of this, Telangana aims to host about 30 gigawatt hour capacity lithium ion gigafactories by 2030. Creating a successful domestic ecosystem for battery manufacturing requires government support and planning for both the supply and demand ends of the value chain. And state governments have a key role to play in this. Towards this, our government has launched the Telangana Mobility Valley, first of its kind initiative. And what I envision is that Hyderabad today, some of you may know here, is the vaccine capital of the world. We produce 33% of global vaccines, about 9 billion doses per year. Now, this is a result of Genome Valley that was set up two decades ago. And I see something exactly similar happening in the mobility ecosystem with the setup of Telangana Mobility Valley. And I do believe that with Amar Raja betting big on Telangana Mobility Valley, which, which will comprise of four manufacturing clusters, to facilitate companies across different segments, including electric vehicles, advanced cell chemistry, batteries, hydrogen fuel cells, component manufacturers, and engineering and research and development, all coming together to improve and to make India a hub for electrification. Zahirabad and Sitarampur have been identified as electric vehicle and component manufacturing clusters. Yenkatala in Vikharabad in Ranjit Reddy's uh, Parliament segment and in Dr. Mahindra Reddy's uh, you know, segment has been designated as a research and innovation cluster. India's first new energy park with Amar Raja as its anchor has been set up in Divitipalli and I was just told by Vikram that uh, construction is going on at a brisk pace and the next time he's going to see me he said uh, he'll invite me for inauguration of the factory and also to show me some of the products that will be coming out of there. Telangana has a rich ecosystem of companies across the EV and energy storage segment and is already host to a large number of companies, of course, including Amar Raja, Mahindra and Mahindra, Olectra, Stellantis, ZF, Hyundai Mobis, Fisker, Advanced Auto Parts, TUV Rainland, Celestial Mobility, Billity Electric, Exicom, Sydney, Godi, and Ito Motors, among others. As a state, we have invested in developing supportive, supporting industrial infrastructure, capable of hosting high-tech manufacturing sectors. We have also undertaken projects just such as the world's largest lift irrigation project called Iskaleshwaram and other marquee initiatives aimed at securing the water and power requirement of our industries. Today, I am also delighted to share with you, in fact, where you are located in Devati Palli, uh, just yesterday we got the fabulous news. There are a very important irrigation project called as the Palamuru Rangaridi lift irrigation project has received all environmental clearances which will take care of millions of new acres of arable land you know getting dedicated water reservoirs and also 10 percent of the you know total projects water capacity being allotted for dom uh, domestic consumption uh, drinking water that is and also 10 percent for industrial consumption which will allow 
for this project also to flourish, for the new energy park also to build on already available resources. Ensuring sustainable supply of battery and raw materials is also very crucial for building domestic capabilities in the advanced cell chemistry manufacturing ecosystem. Towards this, the government of Telangana has been working to secure the supply of lithium salts as the state looks to build sustainable EV and ESS ecosystem. For probably for the first time in India, Telangana State Mineral Development Corporation has been nominated to enter direct into direct collaborations for securing access to lithium and other minerals in Latin American countries along with some local joint venture partners. I don't think any other state in India has dreamed as big, has imagined as big and has taken this kind of a step forward. I sincerely and wholeheartedly appreciate Amar Raja's contribution towards further strengthening Telangana's EV and ACC ecosystem and I once again take this opportunity to assure all the stakeholders in the EV and ACC industry of our committed government support. I thank my dear friend Jay Gala, his wife Mrs. Gala and uh, to the entire family of Amar Raja for being here and uh, for being a partner in the story, in the growth story of our state. Jai Telangana, Jai Hind. Thank you.